guys, good morning. My name is Janel from Strawberry Farming TV. So before we proceed to our video for today, I would like to introduce to you our strawberries here at the back. So we are here at our small garden, strawberry garden. So as you can see, our mulching was being destroyed by a strong hailstorm. So today we're going to talk about fruit rot and leaf spots. Let me show you the most common diseases of our strawberries during wet season. So on the leaves, this is called leaf spot. As you can see, there are some spots that are producing on the parts of the leaves. And on the fruit, this is called the gray mold or the fruit rot. So these diseases are caused by fungus. So this fungi commonly occur on prolonged wet season or cold weather. So we are in a tropical country. We only experience rainy season and dry season. So now we are experiencing rainy season. By pruning our strawberries, we can lessen the fruit rot and leaf spots, especially during rainy season. So here is our pruned strawberry plant. So as you can see, it's very clean to see compared to the unpruned strawberry plant. You can see that the old leaves here and the fruits are infecting the new leaves. So we need to prune and clean this one in order to provide the plants a healthy environment second thing that we need to do is to spray fungicide so i will see you in the next clip for the fungicide these are our fungicides so as you can see these are mostly mancozeb based fungicides so these are the fungicides that i use on my strawberry plants to avoid or to protect them from Leaf spots and other diseases that caused by fungi. So we are using here uh, systemic and non-systemic fungicide. So these are the products that I'm using. Maybe these products are not available on your country because these are local fungicides. But I will try to link some fungicide on the description below. You may you may check that one. So here we let's proceed to the use of fungicides. So there are two types of fungicides the systemic fungicide and the contact fungicide. The action of systemic fungicide is it penetrates the tissues of your strawberry plants and it will destroy the spread of fungus. The action of our contact fungicide is it directly kills the fungi that are uh, present on the strawberry plant. So that's the action of our systemic in contact fungicide so the materials that we are going to use in spraying or applying our fungicides are this one knapsack sprayer you may need a knapsack sprayer a recycled gallon for 16 liters of water this will serve as mixing gallon and a spoon a tablespoon so before spraying you, you must protect ourselves from the chemicals so we need to wear some gloves mask long clothes or working clothes and a boot so these are called the personal protective equipment so I have linked also some PPEs under the description below so let's wear our mask our gloves and we're ready to go so we can combine systemic fungicide in a contact fungicide in one sprayer 
always check the compatibility of a uh, pesticide when you spraying make sure that the pesticide that you are using has passed the fertilizer and pesticide authority so always check the label enter the treated area after 24 hours during fruiting stage spray the pesticide right after the harvest to allow the pesticide to decompose before the next harvest okay guys so to summarize the video for today we use this fungicide in order to protect our plants from the spread of fungi okay that's it so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up and share this one so thank you guys and see you again in the next video